Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria, or more importantly, Terraria End Days, the very first episode. So why is it called End Days? Well, it's because we're finally going to put an end to that spaceship that invaded our world. Or at least we're going to attempt to. This might take more than one episode, I'm probably assuming it is going to. So, you guys may remember I you know, stopped playing this game for almost a year. And part of that was from fatigue from the game and just getting bored of it and whatnot. And the other part of it was because I didn't know what to do with the spaceship. So I spent a long time researching and honestly, online it was so difficult to find anything out about the spaceship. It's like it had never been in anyone's world before. Uh, but I did find a couple of pieces of information. Uh, and from like the three or four topics I'd seen about this. Um, it seems as though the ship is here because it's looking for something. Now, some people said, no, they're maybe looking for, like, ancient ruins. Um, other people said, no, maybe they're here looking for powerful artifacts. But others just said they might just be here to destroy the world, and that might be the bottom line. And... You guys know we've tried and failed to stop that thing. It's impervious to our tools and our weapons, and I can't really teleport inside that well. So, our only hope is that they are actually looking for something. And we need to find it first. So, looking at the map, we have this huge unexplored section in this icy area here as well as a few dark areas around. So whatever they're looking for could be there. But if we check over at the other section, we've got this section here beneath the pyramid and the mushroom biome. But more importantly, what I think, I think the ship is here for a reason. I think it's potentially either in this dark area or the sort of dark area here. I think it's close by. So I think that is where we're going to go and head out first. So we should grab some torches up. Uh, we'll, you know, let's take some ultra bright torches with us. Take a couple of stacks. That should... Is that all we're going to need? Exploring around? That should be fine. So let's head over. Let's head over to the uh, arena that we set up. And from there, we can sort of teleport down a little bit and then start digging around. And I, po I apologize if it sounds like my voice is going, because it really is. I've done so much recording these last few days, you don't even understand. Oh, man, it's killing me. I mean, as you guys know, I'm now uploading three videos per day. Well, except weekends, which really depends on whether I feel like recording Isaac or not. So, yeah, let's let's get over here. Let's come here, you get that guy. We'll make our way across. We will do what we can. Get out of it! So many enemies. You know what? We'll we'll fly. We've been chased by a pumpkin. Are you come to aid me or harm me, pumpkin? Looks like he's just gone. Up and off and out. Maybe one day we'll see him again. Also, you know what? While we're here, we might even... Uh, we've got our net. If we see any... If we see any bugs and stuff, we can catch those. Alright, we'll get a honey buff. Not a lava buff. There we go. Do we need a honey buff? We absolutely don't need a honey buff. But, you know, it lasts for 30 seconds. Who knows what trouble we might get into over here anyway. Why is this door open? Every time I come around here, that door is open. It needs to stay shut. Alright, sword on. So, according to the map, the dark area is down there. So if you teleport down, and then like dig across maybe. That seems like a good bet, I would say. And then here. A bit further down, here might give us the best sort of exposure. Put the torches there go. So ultra bright torches are brighter than regular torches, but only just. Honestly, I... 
How is the water going? Oh, that's how it's going up. It's dripping from up there. Um, yeah, I prefer... I knew that was going to happen. I prefer regular torches because they're just so cheap to make, whereas these ones we've had to buy and stuff. But they're only ever so slightly brighter than regular torches. The way they shine, uh, no pun intended, is in the fact that once they're in your hand, they are brighter than a regular torch. Oh, we're... Oh, no, we're not. Camera just, I thought we were at the end of the world, but the camera just wasn't panning. Hey, some gold. Ah, I'm up here now. Alright, what's it looking like on the map? Doesn't look like there's anything here. Tell you what, we'll go back a bit and we'll dig down into that square that's there. What are we looking at now? There's a cave. I, I'm sick and tired of smashing off my own torches. You guys can get away from me. I'm not interested. We can breathe underwater, but we cannot place torches underwater, so we'll just do that. Uh, okay, if there's anything here, then it's not here, if that makes sense. Uh, so we'll go back up. I'm, I'm, the only thing I can assume is what they're searching for has to be in this area, right? I mean, why else would they be here? And this is just the start of their search, and they're going to progress onwards as they go. I don't know if that would be... That would be it. Let's... Oops. Torch down. What is this? Oh. What is this? What is this thing? Oh, it's gone now. Uh... No, because that just goes into the sand pit. Right, so whatever is here, isn't here. So I think we should head... into this dark section here, maybe. That's... honestly the... No, I'll touch it up as I go. That's honestly the only thing I can think of. If that's if there is something that exists. Again, these are just rumours. What we're looking for might not even be a thing. And if it is a thing, we don't even know what it is we're looking for. So, there's a glow stick there. Cool. What we're looking for might not ex exist. There's a plant terrible part there. Might not exist, and even if it does, there's no guarantee it's going to be here. We'll have a little explore this way. If we don't find it in a quick enough manner, we might explore somewhere else. I think what we want to do is like go down. Very difficult to see. Oh, well, I teleported somewhere. This should take me to my... Yeah, this place that I built. Now I do have to teleport out. And then we want to go up. I'll tell you something, it's been a long time since we've been up here. Yeah, a long, long time. We sealed over the entrance to this. <gasps> a snail! I knew we'd catch... And a plantera bulb! Almost as though it's foretold. Look at this with these four um, torches around it. That's freaky. Right, yeah, there's no better way to dig than uh, right here, so let's just go. Again, we'll torch... If I remember how to play the game, I'll torch up as I go. I think we'll just make like, a couple of like long tunnels around. If there is going to be anything here, then we should see it. Fairly quickly. One thing I don't like about the jungle, though, is it's so hard to light up because of the vines obscuring it. No, oh, this looks a bit promising down here, actually. Uh, if we dig up into the water, it looks like there's a cave there. That's... All I can think of, maybe, it's like direction. I'm sorry that it's so dark. There's nothing I can do. We are underground. Unexplored territory. Doesn't look like we're getting... Oh, wait. May have found something. Did you find something? 
Oh, there's a chunk of corruption. Oh, but that's just the corruption of the jungle creeping, creeping in. I don't think there's anything here. Though. There is a chest. Perhaps this chest is what they were looking for. Well, if they wanted a keen wooden boomerang and 20 silver coins, they came to the right place. No, I don't think this is the right place at all. Let's go home. Uh, let's quickly just dump this stuff off. And then what we can do is... Uh, well, we've still got several places to check. Gotcha. We'll check the... I think the ice biome was closest next. After we check that, we can head towards where, like, the dungeon was. There was a big dark area near the dungeon, wasn't there? And I think there was a small area below our underwater base, but... Is this just crap in my inventory to throw away now? Yeah. That's fine. Uh, a little bit of space under the underwater base, but that's, you know, really... About it wasn't that big of a space to check, was it? So where was it? It was it was like near the house, near the Gotcha. It was near the wizard wizard? Winter. Near the winter house blizzard place. So if we just like dig around here somewhere. Um like why not? Let's go right here, I guess. There we go. Dig down into the dark, and... And it was, it was a bit down, it was a fair bit down, wasn't it? Where we hadn't explored. Oh, I thought it was something which was just ice. Look at a cave. That looks like more than just a cave. Alright, let's, uh, let's mine our way in. Or not. Uh, this... I don't recognise this type of brick. Uh, hmm. It doesn't look like the alien ship's bricks, but it's still got the same indestructibility. We could... No, teleporting's not going to work, is it? We couldn't teleport into the alien ship, so we probably can't teleport into here. Oh, or we can. Well, we're definitely somewhere. What is this place? Traveler, you have trespassed upon a sacred place of great power. If you seek an end to the shadow of your world, you must solve these ancient riddles and prove your worth. First, bring balance. Present the true power of light in harmony with the true power of night. Oh! Okay then, that's new. Um, what? I don't even know. What is this thing look? This thing looks really cool. I have no idea what that is. Um, all right, uh, let's just explore the area, I guess. Hey, no, what's that? Oh, it's like a like a barrier. Right, I'm assuming I can't destroy it. Can I teleport? That, oh. I thought I could teleport. Wait. Let's try again. Nope. Every time I try to teleport through, it just sends me back down here. And this barrier is not friendly. That causes lots of damage to me. Because more damage to all the enemies. Than all the enemies combined. It's down here. Alright, that doesn't want us down there as well. Uh, up here. Hello? Nope. We're not getting anywhere in this place. Nope. Nope. We're gonna die in a minute. Nope. Ah! Alright, can we teleport in here? Nope. Puts us back here. Okay, we need to drink a potion. We're gonna die. So... We need to solve this riddle. I don't know what it means. Uh, there isn't a yin yang, is there? You can get like a light shard and you get a dark shard, but you can't combine them together to make a yin yang. 
And you can make a Tao of Pao, which looks like a yin yang, but is that a true power of light and a true power of night? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Right. Okay, guys. We are going to have to work together on this as a team. I need you guys to leave your ideas and your answers in the comments down below. But, more importantly, after you've liked this video and left your comments, I need you to go to the video description. In the video description, you'll find two links to two fantastic YouTubers. Now, what I need you to do is go and subscribe to both of those YouTubers, Luke Games and Surix Plays. Once you subscribe to them, leave a comment on their newest video. Uh, just tell them you subscribe, tell them you like their video, tell them you love them, whatever. Just make sure it's a nice comment. Now, this is really important to me because the only answers that I'm going to accept to what this riddle could be is going to come from someone who has done all of what I just asked. And believe me, I'm going to check. I'm going to click on your names and I'm going to see if you've subscribed to both of those guys and left comments on their videos. So if you want to help me with this riddle, that's what you need to do. Leave a comment down below with what you think your answer is. And then go and subscribe to Loot Games and Surix Plays. The links are in the description. Right, with that over and done with, I, I think that's all we can do in this episode. Uh, once we come back next week, uh, if you guys have given me the correct answer, uh, I mean, I'll try a bunch of answers. If you guys leave your answers, I'll try a bunch of them. Um, if we can get the correct answer, maybe, maybe we can get through this. Maybe we can figure out how to stop the spaceship. Uh, now I, I also need to figure out how to get out of here. Can I teleport back out? I can. Okay. So I don't like the fact there's a big ugly thing here. I may have to put a. It's night time already. How long were we down there for? Um, I may have to put a like a barrier over it so we don't fall down it accidentally. Uh, so let's go home. That's not how I go home. This is how I go home. Right, thank you for watching. Tune in on Monday for regular Terraria. Tune in next Saturday for another episode of End Days and Bonacro Progress. For now, though, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>